Hey, it's Mark Podolsky, The Land Geek, with your favorite niche real estate website, www.thelandgeek.com. And on this week's roundtable, we've got the usual suspects. We've got the technician, Eric Peterson. Eric, how are you? I'm doing well, thanks. Fantastic. Dude buddy, Scott Bossman, the Nightcap Meister, the OG. How are you, Scott? I'm great, Mark. Thanks for having us. Good to see you. We've got the most feared woman in the country, the terrorist hunter, Mimi Schmidt. Mimi, how are you? I'm great. Happy to be here. Glad, glad to have you. And then, of course, breathe in the mailing, breathe out the marketing, the Zen master himself, Mike Zeno. Mike, how are you? I'm doing well, but did you call Scott Bossman the Ouchie? The Uchi? What was the, the last OG, one? The OG. The, orig the original <laughs> land gangsta. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, what's the Uki? <laughs> yeah, I mean, Tate, Tate's nodding his head. He's like, yeah, I knew exactly what he said. I, and I approve of that nickname, too. That's a good nickname for him. OG. Oh, Appreciate that. Yeah, but we can't skip the big papa. Tate Litchfield, how are you? I'm hot, Mark. I'm hot. <laughs> it doesn't matter how. About hot. Yeah, it doesn't matter how cool I have the thermometer set. I'm hot, man. Yeah. It's I, oh, by the way, guess who's not on the round table today? The Scott brains. Todd. And well, I, I don't know what Aaron Williams is doing, but Scott Todd uh, is in Hawaii, which means if you're spending a full week in Hawaii, you've lost all complaining privileges. Like, I don't want to even hear if that guy's got like a painful, you know, sunburn, sunburn, anything. You know, got food poisoning, whatever it is. Oh, I'm so sorry that you had to suffer through a Wahoo in, <laughs> right. in, the, in the perfect weather on the, in paradise. So, um, which leads us to our topic. But before we get to our topic, I just want to mention that today's podcast is sponsored by Flight School and Flight School Live. If you want to learn more, <coughs> just go to landgeek.com forward slash training the only training program in the country that will get you results in real time. Tate and Scott did it in literally three days, sending out offers, getting offers back, getting a down payment in three days. And of course, regular flight school, we're going to get those results in 16 weeks with Scott Todd, your land geek Sherpa, taking you up that mountain quickly, efficiently, and effectively. The next flight school live is going to be August 23rd through the 26th in beautiful Tampa, Florida. Learn more, schedule a call with Mike or Scott, thelandgeek.com forward slash training. Okay, let's get to our topic. It's summer. Tate and I, we're miserable, okay? It's hot. We're definitely going to be hitting a beach. Eric, what's your weather like? It's, it's been warm, um, mid-80s or so. Nothing like out west by you guys, but, you know, summer's here. That's fall here. Scott Boston, how about you? It is 70 and rainy today. It's been cool. It's been a very cool June so far, which I'm fine with because a month from now it'll be 100 and humid. So we're good. Mimi, how about you? It's beautiful. I'm 76, 79 degrees today. Absolutely beautiful. Tate, are you getting angry? Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, you know, I think I'm going to disappear and go to the pool right now because I'm hot, man. It's, it's like that time of the year where I just got to get out of Dodge. I know. I'm too hot to even go to the pool. Like, yeah. you go in our backyard, it's like, that's not even, even providing enough relief. I got in the I, pool Sunday. It was 91 degrees in the pool. In the pool. That's, pool. that's a hot tub. No, hot I mean... Tub. We still had the hot tub on because nobody wants to catch a cold, but uh, <laughs> 91 degrees. Yeah, it was, it was pleasant. Put it that way. Even my cold showers aren't cold. Mike, what's your, what's your weather like? Similar to, me, to Mimi in the seventies. Beautiful. I'm still able to take a nice cold shower. All right. Well, so as we go into summer, the dog days of summer, the, the question is, how do you enjoy your summer and your family? You know, we, we all have kids. I mean, Tate's got a little one, but eventually she'll be in school and then she won't be in summer. So how do you enjoy 
your summer vacation, your, your summer with your family while simultaneously pushing hard land investing. Eric Peterson, what do you do? So I knew you'd start with me. <laughs> we always take a, um, a couple week vacation, um, oftentimes in July and head up north to Illinois and Wisconsin. Um, my parents have a place up there. I grew up up that way. So, um, and my wife has some family up there as well. So we, we do a lot of visiting relatives and then spend some time on the lake at the cabin, um, you know, just relaxing. So, so that's oftentimes our, our kind of major summer event. And the rest of the time, um, you know, the kids are home from school. So we do try to do a little more kind of throughout the days, um, whether that's, you know, taking the kids to different activities or camps, but we also try to do some, some family things too, where we'll just, you know, go to a movie in the middle of the day or go do a baseball game or whatever it might be. Um, try to just take the opportunity to do some fun things as a family. Um, but you know, I mean, this business working from home, um, allows us that opportunity to just take a break, um, whenever that might come upon me. So, all right. Awesome. Can awesome. I, Mark, can I just give a thumbs up for daytime movies? Oh, absolutely. Like, after you do that, you know, you, you, once you start attending daytime, you got it made. So Eric is doing all right. No loud kids or teenagers there to disrupt him. Love it, man. That's so good. Yeah. Yeah. But you know, so the land business then completely on hold. No. So, um, with the proper team in place, the, the land business can still run. Um, you know, when I'm, when I'm away for a longer period of time, a couple of weeks, um, the land business can, can still run on its own. I've got an acquisition manager, a sales assistant, um, and they, they kind of carry a bulk of the work and, um, I might have to still check in from time to time and, um, maybe follow up on sales or different things. But for the most part, um, my time in the business, especially when I'm away is, is pretty minimal. Wow. Okay. Uh, how about you, Scott Bosman? Well, I'm, uh, I mentioned this last week too. I'm, I'm really looking forward to this summer. It's my first summer home. Um, and looking at the calendar, it's going to be pretty, it's going to be pretty nice because the boys all have things to do in the morning. So, uh, they have weightlifting or or football or uh, strength and agility class or music or whatever. Those, those things are all pretty much in the morning. So I'm going to be able to get whatever work I need to get done in the mornings. And then, you know, the, the beauty of this business is I'm going to be able to spend time with them, more time with them than I ever have uh, in a summer. And I'm already looking forward to it. I got, I got a golf outing scheduled with my 14-year-old uh, this Friday with my new golf clubs. Uh, I haven't golfed, you know, I used to golf a lot growing up and this is, this, uh, this business now has made it possible for me to start reconnecting with my boys and, and start uh, doing things more uh, that maybe I haven't had time to do. So really looking forward to it. As far as the business goes, uh, it's just, you know, like Eric said, it's a, it's a great, um, uh, it's great business because you can focus, uh, get a couple couple hours of work done, and, and maybe not have to work hard the rest of the day because uh, you've you've really gotten uh, some some drastic things done. Fantastic, fantastic, um, Mimi. How about you? I remember three years ago I start I went to April boot camp and then I started coaching in June. And I literally packed up my printer and my folding machine in a suitcase and checked it to go to our vacation in Florida. I remember we left there to go to the Walmart to get myself the computer. What, what is it? What was it called? And on the TV, the big, huge TV in our, in our, in the house we had rented, trying to post ads on Craigslist, truly with that, with, what was it called? What's it called? The Lenovo stick. The no, yes, yeah, the no the no idea stick. Yes, for posting domination. Yeah, that's where I was three years ago on my vacation. So 
Um, this morning I overslept. I woke up at 8.10 and Dave took Natalie to school and it was okay that I had overslept. He walked in with some babies. It was very nice. I took my son to get haircut, a haircut and work for John. And then we're going on vacation in a week and a half. And uh, my new sales associate, it'll be her first time doing it herself. So she did one by herself this, yes, last night. So I think she's got it. So, uh, and that was the last kind of piece of the puzzle that I was still doing myself. So I'm pretty excited. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Uh, the Zen master, what about you? This is a great topic, Mark. Um, I think that, uh, you know, what becomes important and it's year round, but it can be really highlighted in the summer is just to build some sort of scheduling. Like, so for, for me, for us, the morning is about getting up, going to work out, getting some breakfast, getting some things done and just then come into the afternoon, meet with the team, get together and talk about, uh, you know, different projects we're working on and just really segment it. Right. So, I mean, I, I'm kind of of the belief now where even though we should, we can do this business at the beach, we can do this business uh, anywhere doesn't mean we absolutely should, right? Uh, I think that you should build in those times because that could rob the benefit of in that enjoyment, right? So yeah, you're at the beach, but you're not really, in your, your head's in the computer. Why not just have that segmented time at home, have it done, get it out of the way. I think that's important. I think that, you know, you schedule the day in a way, there's things I want to do every day. I want to, I want to have some family time. I want to work out. I want to, I do a new thing, Mark, which is my uh, audible, just like, this is so this plays into the business the audible just because you can listen to it while you're driving the car doesn't necessarily mean that's the best way so it's like zen audible listening i go down in my basement i'll put it on i want to do an hour a day i want to i want to sit there in like a meditation like type pose and listen to the book in full with my eyes kind of maybe you know half shut and just like really take in what the person's saying and like that that's like pretty cool right so i break apart certain segments of my day for certain things so i can at the end of the day you want to feel like you've accomplished something. A lot of times that really comes down just to your mental outlook, right? It's really how you feel and from what you've done. And so you want to end on you know, the way to end of a day well is to have filled all these things that are important to you, right? And make room for them in the daily activity. So the business fits in, in a way that if you have automation delegation, you have team members, you, you, you have that scheduled time where you, you, you meet with them and you set them on their way. And then that's it, you know, let them do their thing. That's the hardest part, I guess, at some point is doing nothing. Oh yeah, absolutely. It's, it's a thing um, that you gotta, you, you actually have to, you know, sort of embrace in a way is that, that relaxation and being okay with it for a lot of people. They don't, they don't think it's okay. Um, Tate, how about you? Yeah. Summer's uh, it's a fun time around here. We try to do a nice family vacation, kind of like, kind of like Eric and everyone else on the call. And, I think uh, the days leading up to those vacation, it's a little bit chaotic just because I'm trying to get everything prepared and I really want to spend that time with my family. And I don't know if everybody listening here got your, the email you sent out for your birthday where you talked about the, the lessons that you've learned, right? And one of the things that stood out to me was you made note of truly enjoying family time and not um, not overdoing it with other things when you were supposed to be with your family. And so we kind of have a very similar approach to that. When I'm on vacation, nobody minds if I wake up an hour or so early and I run downstairs to the, you know, and have breakfast or get ready and answer a few emails. But come, you know, 8.39 in the morning, it's family time. So I love going on these type of vacations because it's a great opportunity to stress test your business. Something's going to break. Nothing's going to go according to plan, but that's kind of how life is, right? And that's the beauty of running your own business or being an entrepreneur or a CEO of a land business is you get to learn from these opportunities. And hopefully while you're gone, the entire business won't crumble, but you will see what cracks you can improve on and fill in those foundations a little bit, uh, a little bit better. So, I'm with Mike just because I can work on the beach. I'm not doing it. I gotta, I'm going to be out in the sun enjoying it with the family or with a, with a fly rod in my hand running around. So. Yeah. You know, it's too bad for my children that I didn't know you guys earlier because when my kids were younger, I was, you know, they were babies when I started the land investing business. 
So I had all this free time, but I didn't feel like it was okay to be where I was. So I would be at the park with my children on the phone doing deals. And, you know, I was like that dad, you know, pushing the, the on, on the, uh, on the swing, you know, half present talking on the phone, closing deal. You know, my, my son would look at me and say, dad, what are you doing? I'm saying, trying to, you know, buy you clothes. <laughs> like, you know, like, like he didn't care. He's like, get off the phone. Like, let's play. I'm like, no, you're going to have crooked teeth one day. And this deal is going to get you your orthodontics. Right. So it was, it was always this constant struggle before I was able to really, you know, create the systems, create the automation, delegate and, and really treat it like a business instead of this constant sort of job running in the background, even though it looked like I was home and around, I really wasn't. And it's, it's one of the, like, you know, the most shameful things I, I can, I can think of in, in my past was, you know, squandering that precious time because now, you know, I've lost it like that time. I'll never get that time again. I'll never get that moment again to be in that sort of idyllic situation where my children want to be with me. They want to meet the park. Like, like, you know, I was it and I, I wasn't there because I thought I had to be working all the time. So good on all of you for being able to enjoy your, your summer vacations and not, you know, having that, that struggle um, and setting things up in place so that you can do it. It's, it's, it's really uh, amazing how this business has evolved in that way, where before it was like, you know, flip some land, be a solopreneur, well, but not really. Mark, that's the thing. Like it's never been a better time to run a land business. Think about it. When you started, LG Pass didn't exist. That, was, that wasn't that was even a pipe dream, remember? I've seen your old Excel sheets. I don't know how you got anything done with those. I mean, <laughs> you're not the most organized guy to begin with, and then you introduce like 60 Excel programs that you had developed for you. Who knows how much you spent on those? And nowadays, you just put it all in one thing. You hit create deed and you have a deed like two seconds later. I mean, truthfully, it's never been a better time. And the reason we're all able to actually enjoy our families during family vacations is because we have automation. We have a team, we have VAs. It's, I mean, it's, it's gorgeous, right? I was, I was out of town this weekend and I got a message and it's like, Oh, great. We bought something and we sold something. It's like, that's, that's what you want to see. And it's like, who bought this? where did this money come from? What's going on here? It's the greatest feeling, but it wasn't always this way. So if anybody's on the fence about it, better talk to Zeno or Bossman. Yeah. You know, I'm, I'm taking all of August off um, and, and moving my, my son into to college um, at Indiana university, my alma mater. I'm so proud. And just to be able to do that, to, to clear up that calendar, um, is an amazing feeling. Now, that being said, we're having boot camp in July in Vegas. So if you haven't built your systems, you haven't built your automation, you don't have your team, you don't have a lot of land inventory, well, incorporate boot camp into your summer plans. Um, just go to landgeek.com forward slash boot camp. And that way your next summer will be way more enjoyable than your current summer. What do you guys think of that? Pretty good. Yeah. Excellent. All right. So we're at that point now in the podcast where we get to pick on Mimi and ask her for her tip of the week, a website, a resource, a book, something actionable where the art of passive income listeners can go improve their businesses, improve their lives. What have you got? Oh, Mimi, you're on mute. I have an article about the nine biggest reasons why ads on Facebook are rejected. So I get a lot of questions from people hitting me up on Facebook Messenger and boot camps and coaching about why their ads are getting flagged. And the more Facebook evolves, the harder it gets, right? So um, take a look at this when you get a chance. Read through it. The number one reason is because of text on, art on your pictures. 
Um, I'm not even, I'm not sure a lot of people realize that. And then there's a list of things not to mention. So above and beyond hunting and guns, there are a lot of other things that cash loan services, penny auctions, tobacco, tobacco products. I had no idea. So, um, I learned a lot from this article myself. Wow. Well, Eric, sorry to disappoint you. You can't be selling any of those tobacco products on Facebook anymore. I know it. You know. Who knew? You're going to have to get a legit side hustle now. I think it's <laughs> bad grammar usage. So it's trying to find ways that it can tell when people are not truly an individual trying to sell something. Right there. That's a, that's a great tip. That's a great tip. Um, I want to know from, from Mike, what, what book are you listening to now in, in the basement in, in your Zen master form? Maps of Meaning by uh, Jordan Peterson. So I loved his 12 Rules for Life. His Maps for Meaning is an older book, but chapter two is 12 hours long. So get 12 good sessions there. Holy cow. I, I thought the, cool. the 12 Rules was a meaty book. I yeah, can't imagine is, Maps. This is, I don't even know how his brain thinks. I, I, this, guy's a, this guy's crazy smart. <laughs> it's just unbelievable. Wow. Wow. Writing it down. Um, Tate, you got a good summer book? Uh, I ordered something. I don't know where it is. Uh, I'm still, I'm not on the Audible thing yet, guys. I'm like one of the only guys that still likes to have a physical book in front of me. I know Eric gave me a look that would kill, but I, there's something about like sitting down and like turning a page that I really, really like. I don't know. So... And July will be busy because that's uh, Tour de France month. So no reading will be done then. <laughs> and, and, and hopefully, you know, no doping either. Eh, that's doubtful, Mark. Very doubtful. Yeah. yeah. But no, it'll be, I, I got something. I don't know where it is. That's what we need to do, Mark, is next week when we come, everybody needs to come with their summer reading list. One night you're going to say go to France. Yeah, mine might be just watch the tour, but, you know, doesn't mean it's uh, going to make you a better person, but uh, it's our summer reading list. That's, That's a good idea. That's good. All right, so, so next week we'll talk about our summer reading list. Yeah, yeah. All, right. all right, cool, cool. All right, well, I want to thank all the listeners. Just another reminder, um, you know, go to thelandgeek.com forward slash training, schedule a call. If you haven't looked over Tate's shoulder yet, go to thelandgeek.com forward slash L-O-T-S, lots. And look over Tate's shoulder and see how he works. Um, and then if you're getting value out of the roundtable podcasts, send it to a friend, email it to a friend, share it on the interwebs. And then, of course, do us three little favors. You got to subscribe. You got to rate. You got to review the podcast. Send us a screenshot of that review to support at thelandgeek.com. We're going to send you for free the $97 passive income launch kit. Um, Mike and Scott, are we good? We're great, yes. Mark. We're doing We're good? very well. All right. Awesome. Um, we could, we could uh, actually, if you wouldn't mind, Mark, we could, we could plug our, our event next week. Um, yeah, next week. Because, because this will be, uh, be published uh, a couple days before June 20th. So on June 20th, Mike and I are having a virtual event um, on the Zoom platform. And uh, basically, it's for beginning land investors, for people who may not be altogether familiar with what we do. Uh, and we are speaking to them about land investing. We'll have a nice PowerPoint presentation about land geek programs as well. And then at the end of that uh, virtual call, I think we're doing something that I don't know if we've ever done before, Mark, and we're, we're actually giving away a toolkit to someone in the group, in the room. So that's going to be pretty exciting um, to see, see the turnout for that. Uh, so, so if you're, if you're new to this, if you've been listening to, to Mark for a long time, like many of us did, and you want more information and you want a chance to, you know, take a massive step forward with getting your hands on a toolkit. Join us uh, Thursday night, June 20th at 7 p.m. Pacific. That's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah, it's going to be fun. Yeah, awesome. Eric Peterson, are we good? We're good. Mimi, we're good? Yep, we're great. 
Right. Big Papa? Yeah, we're good. Let's do it. All right. One, two, three. Let, Let freedom, freedom ring. ring. That's pretty wow. good. That's pretty good. All right, good. That's yeah. good. Yeah. All right. So, so what's everybody's afternoon plans? Mine's got some uh, froyo on the agenda. <laughs> Kate, we actually, actually, uh, yeah. Go ahead. Mark. Go ahead. Oh yeah, I, I just, it's just it's like so hot here now that even just like five minutes outside, I'm just I'm just drained. Yeah, I was walking. I don't know to Target yesterday. I was in my sandals, and I stepped on like like some of the the, the road where they sealed the cracks. And like my, the back of my flip-flop like kind of sunk into the, to the, uh, the sealant. It was, it was kind of putty and gross and nasty, but it's hot. Like it's not a good time to be in Vegas, but you know, it is what it is. Yeah. Yeah. Scott, how about you? We actually rented a dumpster. So we are, we are emptying, emptying out the house of crap we do not need which I'm pretty excited about. We have an old trampoline sitting in the backyard that needs to be buried. So there are a bunch of things I'm gonna go out right now. The dumpster just arrived. I'm gonna go out and start throwing stuff in there. It's a very uh, liberating feeling throwing crap away you don't need. I, I love that. I love that Marie Kondo book, The Joy of Tidying Up. Yeah, I haven't read that yeah. yet, but I, I need to check it out. Well, well, warn Aaron before you do, because after I read it, my my wardrobe went from like you know went down like 75 percent. my wife's like you have no clothes i'm like they don't spark joy <laughs> she's like well i'm sick of you wearing the same thing over and over again oh, but, nice. but i'm happy but, they, but i'm happier <laughs> so yeah uh mimi what do you got going on I am diversifying my land business, which is my intention, has been my intention for a while. So my husband and I are doing some due diligence and we have a field trip planned for Friday. So I'm pretty excited. Nice. Very nice. Yeah, some new things for us to look forward to. Excellent. Zen Master. Uh, I've got a couple of meetings and then I'm going to have my coffee, then my Maps of Meaning session and maybe a little workout. And then later on tonight, um, and we watch we're binging Game of Thrones with my new whiskey, which is Conor McGregor's prefer, uh, proper. Really good. And so it's a pretty booked up day. <laughs> nice. Very nice. <laughs> Eric, how about you? Nothing much. I've got a, I've got a coaching call later. Um, I've got some training with some new VAs to do. And... Um, few deeds to make sure get recorded from some wholesale sales I recently made. It's about it. Nothing, nothing too crazy. Nice. Nice. Well, I'm just going to live vicariously through Scott Todd today. Yeah. Just, you know, find my inner beach somewhere, get some work done, spend some time with the kids. That's a good book title, Mark. Find your inner beach. All right. We I'm just going to buy the domain right now. We should do it quickly. Wait a minute. Very, very <laughs> quick. <laughs> yeah. We, we still got to write our sequel to Dirt Rich, by the way. The, the one where everybody contributes? Mm -hmm. like it's like that. a tool of titans for land investing. That'd be awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Let's just do it. We got to do it. Let's just do it. We'll bring a rough draft to boot camp. Bring a rough draft to your chapter to boot camp. There it is. Perfect. There goes right. my summer. You, there you go. There, no, my, my, there just it goes. The outline, just the outline of your chapter. <laughs> I'll bring an outline, but I want Bossman to bring at least 5,000 words. Yeah, that'll be my summer reading for next week's <laughs> My rough draft. <laughs> nice. Nice. All right. Well, I want to thank you guys. And, uh, See everybody, we're we'll see everybody next week. Yeah, I don't know about like uh, you know, summer schedules are getting crazy, but um, all right, yeah, we'll see everybody next week.
We got Elite coming up too. Phenomenal. All right. Thanks, everybody. Thanks, Mark.